Oh, oh, hey guys. Welcome back to Unbelievable English. I'm sorry, I can't really talk right now. You see, the police are looking for me. I'm Mr. X. See, in today's game, Scotland Yard, Mr. X is on the run. And it's the job of all the other players, the police officers, to catch him. I gotta go. Talk to you soon. <laughs> hey guys, it's me again. You didn't recognize me, did you? I'm still in hiding. See, I'm a bad guy and I've been running from the police for a long time. I've got this entire map of London to hide in. And you guys, as the police, well, it's your job to come and find me. This is really a game of hide and seek in board game form. It's really fun. So, as I said, here's our board. It's a map of London. And the really important thing for us to notice here is on this map, there are all kinds of stations. There are, let's see if I can show it to you here, yellow spots. Those are just taxi stops. Any spot with a blue on it, that has a bus stop. And any red spots, those are subway stops as well. So in this game, we're going to be jumping between those. You guys are trying to catch me. And me, well, I'm trying to stay away from you. So how does it work? Well, the first thing we're going to see in the game are the starting, uh, the starting placement tokens. And so at the beginning of the game, everybody is going to take either an X if you're Mr. X or a D if you're a detective. If you're a detective, you show your, um, your starting spot to everybody. You take your starting token, and this token is you for the rest of the game, and you're going to find where you start. So 112 on the map is... Whew, well, I'm not going to find it right now because all the numbers are very small, but it's on this map somewhere. Mr. X doesn't put his token anywhere. He's not even going to show you guys anything. All he's going to do is keep track of things in his notebook. So his starting spot is here. And then when it's his turn and he always goes first, all he, all I am going to do is write down where I'm going. And then I have to show you guys how I'm moving. And I do that using either a taxi, moving from one yellow spot to another yellow spot, a bus moving from one blue to another blue, or a train moving from one red to another red. Um, Mr. X also has one extra way to move that the detectives don't. The detectives all have those subway, bus, and taxi uh, tokens. And every time they use one of those, they're gonna give it to Mr. X so he can continue to use them. Mr. X has one extra way he can move. It's the mystery move. It basically says, you don't know what I'm doing. In fact, there's an extra thing Mr. X can do, which is to jump into the river. I'll show it to you quickly. Mr. X can jump into the river, if you can see the black lines from here, and he can swim to another spot on the board. So there are lots of ways for Mr. X to get out of trouble. This feels kind of unfair, right? He's got this huge board. Well. There are a couple of things working in the detective's favor. First of all, the detectives get to see where Mr. X is at specific points in the game. On the third turn, on the eighth turn, on the 13th turn, and on the 18th turn. The detectives get to see where Mr. X is on the board. That's really important because there are always going to be at least four detectives. Even if there are less players, the, the players will have extra helping detectives uh, in what are called automatons, special, uh, uh, basically robots, robot detectives that the, that the other players can use to move around the board. So there's always a bunch of different uh, police officers out on the board 
hoping to kind of close in on Mr. X and keep him from winning the game. Uh, Mr. X wins the game if he can make it 24 rounds without getting caught. Uh, there's one other thing Mr. X can do. He always gets a couple of these double move tokens. So he can move twice to get out of trouble. So how do the detectives win? Well, the detectives win if they catch Mr. X. If a detective ends up on the right spot where Mr. X is at that moment, if, he, if a detective goes to the right station, Mr. X is caught and the game is over. I lose. That's basically how you play the game. We'll show you one or two moves just to give you a sense of it, but it's a very simple game. It's hide-and-go-seek. So let's go down, and I'll, I'll show it to you on the map here, and uh, hopefully I'll see you here at Unbelievable Soon to play it with me. All right, guys. Okay, guys, so here we go. We're all set up, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you where everybody is. So here's Detective Goo Goo. Here's Detective Toby. And then here we have two of the robot kind of dummy detectives, because there's only three people playing in this game. And here's me. I'm Mr. X. I'm 71, so I'm going to start right there. But nobody's going to know that. This won't be on the board. Only I know that. All the other detectives are ready to go. They have randomly selected their starting positions. And then it's my turn to go first, because I'm Mr. X. Now, I know that I'm here at number 71. This is really not a great starting position for me because I can only move with a taxi from here. Remember, if I'm at a spot with blue, that means I can move by bus. And when I move by bus, I could go from here all the way down to 89 if I want to, or from here up to 29, which I definitely don't want to do right now. But either way, I can move to any one of the other bus stops that are connected with a blue line to that spot. If I'm at a red position, I can follow the red lines all the way around to the other subway stops. So I can move through entire sections of the board that way. But if I'm at a spot with only yellow, that means that I can only move by, by taxi. And that's pretty slow. I can only go here, 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 or here, that way. Now, because I'm starting in, in, in 71, maybe I want to come down here to 89. That gives me lots of options. I can get out of the area by using the subway next. I can use a bus. I can do anything I want, almost. Um, I think what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to take a taxi from 71 to 72. So what I would do is... I would write down 72 right here, but nobody would see that. All they would see is the taxi that I put over the number that I wrote. And so now everybody knows that I use the taxi to move. And that's all they know. And now everybody else, Gugu and Toby, are going to talk about it, and they're going to decide where they want to go next. If Gugu wants to use a taxi, and she has to use a taxi because she's in a spot where there are only taxis available, well, Gugu and Toby are going to talk about what directions they want to go in and what they want to do. They have no idea that I'm over here. Maybe they think that these two extra police officers are over here so they can start to move in other directions. So maybe they decide to move here. And then they would have to give me one of their taxi symbols for making that move so that Mr. X would have extra taxis. And then maybe they decide to move here. And again, Mr. X would get another taxi. And then they would decide where they want to move their robot police officers. Uh, maybe they decide to cover this uh, bus stop and they decide to use... This guy, who's already at a bus stop, they decide to let him maybe go to the next bus stop. So they'll go to 41 there, like that. And that's the first round. Uh, again, remember that the mystery movements uh, allow Mr. X to move without telling anybody which kind of movement they're making. It also allows Mr. X to use the river 
crossing. So he can jump into the river and swim from one to the next stop. And again, with another black, he could do it again to use the river as well. And that's something that the police officers can't do. And again, you win the game, the police officers win if any one of their markers is on the same spot as Mr. X. If any one of the police officers is in the same spot at the same time as Mr. X, Mr. X loses. Mr. X wins if he can avoid the police officers for a full 24 rounds. And that's the whole game, guys. Can't wait to play it with you. Hide and go seek as a board game. Tons of fun. See you soon.